Hey guys, um, I'm back with another video. This one is going to be called Choo Choo Netflix Nights Horror Stories Animated. Um, I've actually been watching Netflix a little bit the past few days to watch some movies along with school, along with watching um, or doing school and stuff too. I don't know why I didn't freaking watch video or watch movies while I was off school and now I'm just like randomly doing shit that I could have done when I was on, on break and I'm doing it instead during school. But yeah, so I, I've definitely watched Netflix recently, so maybe this will be a little bit relatable. I don't know, we'll see what happens in, in, in these stories. Um, so I got it's by MGV Animations. It's just over 11 minutes long. And of course, they're animated stories, which gotta love that. So f f without further ado, let's go. This should be fun. So, basically, my boyfriend and I live in a flat together, and he's an area manager for a main chain restaurant in England. Okay. His job takes him to at least five to eight stores, and sometimes he has to stay late. Sometimes Trash. he doesn't get in until around 3 a.m. What? So I usually oh sort God. of wait up for him to make sure but he's all right. How are you going to do it at a freaking he store for him a hot 3 a.m.? And if he wants a coffee or anything. Oh my God. So I get the usual phone call from him saying, I'm on my way home. I'll be home in an hour. If I drop call you when I'm closer, can you get a bath running for me, please? Wait, so she stays up till 2, 3 a.m. Sure, every or night just to, wow, it's crazy. Now, our block of flats has this security door that always gets locked at 10 p.m. And as long as you have a main entry key, you're free to come and go without worrying about the door. Okay. I'm nestling down to watch some Netflix with a cup of tea and a cheeky biscuit when I hear our buzzer to our flat go off. Now, someone outside the main entrance is pressing my number and I have to press a switch from the inside of my flat that will open the main security door and let them in. I think to myself, it's probably just someone who's forgotten their key and pressed my number quickly. I try to shrug it off. I pause the film I'm watching. Say a lot to memory without asking wait. who they were. The buzzer rings again, stops, and then rings again. Can you answer it or something? It just... sounds like someone is deliberately putting their finger on it and holding it down. Like, can, can you imagine, now, like, at night, our flat is on like, waking up to that? And from floor? our bedroom, we can look down and see who's at the main gate. Okay. I jump up, So take a look at the curtain, of course. And slowly peek to see who's there. I saw five. Oh well my god. Stocky men. This is 2 a.m. What the hell are they doing here? No, we know what Why the hell that. are they ringing my buzzer? They obviously it's know you're there, they're alone, apparently. To me that whoever they were, they clearly didn't live here because they didn't have a key. Mm. While peeking at them, I clearly see the front guy put his hand up and press my buzzer. Flat number four. He's not even touching the other buttons, just mine. That's sus. He obviously knows you're alone or something. Half of me wants to pick up my flat phone and I'd be, be terrified. Like, Seriously, get lost. I don't know who you are or what you want, but I will call the police. And then the other half of me doesn't want to give away that I'm a girl. Yeah, exactly. It sounds silly. I feel like I'm they already know if they're... And I'm quite small. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that I'm 20 I grab small. my phone and I ring my boyfriend straight away. He says something like, he's 45 minutes away and will be there as soon as possible. But he will call his dad, Luke, who's a policeman. Oh, to come over awesome. and wait with me. Awesome. While I'm on the phone, the buzzer is still going. I'd be terrified at that point. No, he tells me to just keep peeking at them and to see if I can make like, out see if you can take a picture. Features. Because they can't see you, right? Just take a quick After photo. what seemed like ages, my boyfriend's dad turns up and I see him walk straight up to the guys and start a conversation. Be careful, there's five, so... My boyfriend's dad already has a security key we gave him one in case we were ever locked out, and he opens up the door to my flat. Straight away, he runs over to me and makes sure I'm fine. We're sitting down, having a cup of tea, and I ask him what was said and what was happening outside. Yeah. He says he walked up to the main door, and the conversation went like this. They said to him, Hey man, do you live here? Do you think you could let us in? No. Luke replied with, Well, clearly if you don't have a key, you don't live here. So, no. Who are you supposed to be seeing? 
Well, my main girl lives in number four, and she's gone to sleep. <laughs> you know how late it is. These are my friends, and they don't have anywhere to stay. And I haven't got a key. So, how about you let us in? Did she even say that you could? That's funny, because my daughter lives there. Oh yeah? Shit, dude. Well, how about letting us in, and we can go and see her together? No. Are you stupid? Luke said, right. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know what you're planning to do. But get but the fuck seriously, out. Get the fuck out. Stay the fuck away from these flats. Yes. You clearly don't live here. If you ever come here again, I will personally arrest each and every one of yes, the Yes, get him. Love it. Now fuck off and go home. <laughs> yes, fuck off. Because I swear to God, I will beat the shit out of you guys so bad, no one will recognize you. Oh, damn. And with that, the group of guys took off. There you go. And Luke managed to open love the door freely. Love that. Love that. That was the best. I fucking love that. Yeah, see, they knew that it was a girl that, that lived there already. They already I knew. never even met him. I didn't know his name or face. Is this a new story? I'm assuming it I is. was blissfully unaware of his very existence. I will never know why or when it started. I'm glad for that, I guess. I moved into my very small apartment in February of last year. Okay. My landlord, Olivia, was a sweet older woman who would cook too much food and bring me leftovers. That's she nice, was great but to me, just make sure it's not poison. Even after I told her my problem. I'm antisocial. Is that a wide open... she didn't mind renting to a reclusive young girl who reminded her of her daughter. Every few weeks, she would knock on my door and then leave. Letting me know she was leaving something for me. I guess I that's kind of nice, but kind of odd at the same time. Not even my family would cook so well. Like, well, only her. The next morning, I wash and leave her empty containers outside my door. And by an hour or so, she would come back and take them away. My other neighbors seemed fine, but I never really talked to them. Mm. Yeah, like some neighbors them. you don't really talk to. So it's just time I was ever forced to go out, I rushed out and into my apartment. Avoiding an uncomfortable situation. I yeah, shit can be sus, alone. but you're clearly asking I for something sus to happen with the fucking cur I cur could just cur breathe. curtain. By April, though, I started noticing things were not right. Things were moving, or plain disappearing. I was convinced it was just anxiety, no, caused by my new medication and the move. Yeah, so a clock moving is Another your side effect was that it made me so drowsy. Since I hated seeing the doctor, I just dealt with it. I took naps during the day now, and eventually stopped caring. That is, until one incident doubled my paranoia. Olivia brought me some sort of Greek toss salad for lunch one day, and I enjoyed it with my friend, Netflix. Okay. I fell asleep in the middle of wait, Orlandia, wait, wait, her and I woke up that evening at 5pm, per usual. What wasn't usual was that my bedding on the opposite side of me was disturbed. Didn't you say your friend was there? On my right side, always. Did did you not say someone was there with Even you, or was more, that were you saying that felt warm? My first thought was that I must have rolled around a lot, but I knew it was too odd to dismiss. I got up and I searched my apartment, gripping okay. my phone with 911 typed in. Nothing else was disturbed. Everything was exactly like it should be. Hmm. I let it go. Okay. For the next few weeks, everything was normal. Pardon the occasional misplaced shoe or drawn back shower curtain. Sus. I thought about telling someone. My parents. Yeah, they don't call them. We just say you're crazy, to But to if be it's honest. not life or death, I'm not reaching out to anyone. So you're gonna wait till it's life or death? I wasn't scared. I was sure? nervous. Perhaps a little stubborn as well. But I stayed. I'm not letting some stupid anxiety ruin my lovely, lonely world. I mean, make sure it's not your anxiety. Make May sure it's came, actually... And it was getting worse. Well, make sure it's your anxiety, not it's not underwear, really serious. toothbrush... Hell, maybe even my food was being misplaced. That, that's sus. Every time I woke up, up, there was some strange odor in the air. That's even more sus. I finally realized this won't go away if I keep ignoring it. Exactly. If you want to know what's happening, call camera or something. Do and something. I begged to come and stay for a few days. Instead of cameras, when I got home, I'm gonna find out. For proof, I told proof them too. everything. 
Like, you need proof. Saying it out loud solidified any yeah, creepy Pictures, suspicions. video, everything. You need something, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta have something to do. That weekend, my dad went to my apartment, and what was found was true horror. Written all oh over my the god, was, what the hell? Come back, come baby, back, please. Baby, please. Oh my god. He ran out and called the police. There was See, no through a camera, she could have caught, caught him, but no. But someone okay. definitely had access besides me. Clearly. The investigation revealed a man, Henry, the son of my landlord, Olivia, was in a projected relationship with me. They showed me his confession on tape. What kind of shows sure that? It's, it's like he all admitted wet. coming into yeah. my apartment every night and every day with his mother's extra key. Oh my god, wow. He claimed that we were in love and that he had my permission. I don't even know you, my dude. He drugged his mother's food that she left out for me, which of course caused my drowsiness. Oh. And he would let himself in, watch me sleep, touch my hair, oh my God, and that's... kiss my shoulder. The leftovers in the fridge were tested and confirmed that suspicion. I was absolutely horrified I would be and too. disgusted. I think I'm arrested. A man I never knew existed collected my hair, clothes, and trash, then and practically you, apparently. lived in my apartment for four months. That's the thing, like, you never even know what's going on. Like, you don't, like, you think you're alone, but you're really not. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you could, I, I could easily look at my house right now and say no one's here, but do, you, do I have a hold that for sure? Hopefully, I mean, nothing's been happening, so. But if something sus does start happening, like, I'm even, I even just want to, like, have, like, a camera right over there in the closet, like, watch me sleep just so I know what's going on, or I'm actually really curious, like, what I do when I sleep, too. Do I yell in my sleep? Do I freaking sleepwalk? I did used to sleepwalk before, so I'm really curious, like, how I would be, like, if I did, I don't want to see the sleepwalk again, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's the whole thing with me, like, cameras and, like, proof and everything. That's why in the, fir in the first story, she said that they saw someone, um, or the those five on the door, take a picture, take a video. Tell it, show it to the police or say that these people are all sus. Like, obviously, you don't know their names, but maybe you can help identify them. Of course, you see them, right? Or, like, you can ask the public or something, you know? If their faces are revealed or something, you know? But that was sus. Like, oh, yeah, that's my daughter. Can we come in? No. But there's five of you. It's like two in the morning. You're not invited. And they don't have a key. Therefore, you're not going inside. Simple as that. that that's it. Like, what more is there to it? Like, you're not, no. Like, whatever you want, it's not happening, okay? Okay, that's it. So, that was a pretty good video, though. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And be safe, guys. You know what I mean? Like, all this creepy shit can happen to anyone. So, you never know when it will happen. You never know who it will happen to. So, be aware. It's 2020 as well. So, like, yeah, this cra crazy year I know where you guys all about uncertainty and all this shit. So, if anything fuck's gonna happen, it's gonna be this year. I'm telling you right now. So, and you never know how 2021 will be. Before we know it'll be the exact same or worse. So, we can only hope it's better, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, take care. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe and I'm if you're new as well. Peace out.